Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you for tuning into the broadcast today. We did part one last week of spiritual heritage. Now we're going to do part two. Are you ready to stir up the gift of faith within you? Because it's in there. Your faith in Jesus is powerful and it must be passed on. What does that mean? That means Christ in you, the hope of glory, must be passed on to that next generation. That's called spiritual heritage. And your faith will work for that, not some of the time. But all the time. So get another pencil and a piece of paper. Take, some, take down some notes. My God, I'm telling you, you're going to learn something today because you have put something inside of your children you may not even realize. It's called spiritual heritage. I mean, it's going to work. So watch this and be blessed. The heritage of faith is the constitution of Christianity. So Timothy's constitution was big mama who put it in his mama. And then she put it in him. The first person in our family, my dad's side, to get saved was my grandmother. Her name was Julianne Luc, or French, Julia Duplantis, but her maiden name was Luc. And she married Eddie Duplantis. And watch it. And i never forget, we like to have a flaming fit. She came home and told us she got saved. We said, from what? She said, I got born again. You know, well, under the great ministry of John Murdoch. Anybody ever heard of Mike Murdoch? Yeah. Mike Murdoch's father, I believe is still living. I may be wrong. He's about 98 years old, 99. So John Murdoch. And we like to have a flaming fit. She said, I'm going to start going to his church. And we thought, are oh, you leaving the mother church? Because see, we were all raised Catholic. Are oh, you leaving the mother church? We wouldn't have known if she'd have went to another church because we didn't go to church neither. <laughs> How many of y'all were Catholic, but you didn't go? All of us were part of something, but, you know, to say we were part of something. Am I telling the truth? I mean, we'd have never known if she'd have never said it to us. But because it was so strong on her, she transmitted it through the family because she was big mama and she was four foot nine. My other grandmother was four foot 11. Two of them, if you stack them, didn't make one whole person. They, they were just little, <laughs> just little bitty women. Boy, but they had power. Yes, yes, yes. Did they have power? Why? Because they were the Constitution. They transmitted it. They began to produce godly stock. That heritage of faith began to go across the gulfs of sin, the oceans of sin, all of us. And slowly, one by one, they all begin to get born again. And on my mother's side, the same way. It's amazing. My mother got my grandfather saved seven days before he died. She got it. She said, I ain't let you go to hell. Every devil in hell trying to get him into hell. And he deserved to go to hell. My grandfather deserved to go to hell. He would tell you that. But mama said, no. Amen. Shut it down. Isn't that something? The power of a mother. The power of a grandmother. Amen. Think about this now. I think one of the finest men God ever put in shoe leather was Joseph. You don't hear much about him, huh? Boy, what a fine man, huh? Think about this. Mary's husband, Joseph. But at the cross, where was Job? He probably had passed away. But what did Jesus say? John, you take care of my mama. Isn't that a something? Boy, Mary became an idyllic figure in the scripture. What a blessing she was. That doesn't mean she was perfect. No, she wasn't perfect. But the son she produced was. Amen. Totally, completely perfect. But watch this. It had to be transmitted to him by God to Mary to him. And he loved us so much. And I'm going to give you a little hint on something I'm going to be preaching pretty soon. That he could hardly tell her. that he, 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 Her desires were very important to Jesus. One time Jesus had a little relaxing day. He wasn't preaching much, so he decided to go to a party. He said, I'm going to go to that wedding. I'm going to sit down and enjoy myself. I've been preaching a lot. You know, give this donkey a break. He's sitting there just enjoying it. Here come mama. She said, Jesus. He said, what? 
without a wine. Now, if he was from New Orleans, he would have said this, what that got to do with me? I just came here. I'm trying to relax here, enjoy myself. We're, we're out of wine. She had a desire for him to do something. You see, ladies and gentlemen, your desires are so powerful, it'll move God to do something he don't want to do at that time. You'd like me to prove that to you? Watch this. She said, Jesus, we're out of wine. He says this, woman, it's not my time. Now, before you say that, Harris, hang on. What did he tell her, woman, it's not my time. That didn't phase mama. We out of wine. <laughs> she goes over to the servants. She says, do what he says. Her desires were so strong, it made Jesus Christ push up the time clock and he turned the water into wine. <laughs> Your desires are so powerful, it'll move God to push the clock up. Oh, y'all should have shouted right there. That's why he said, delight thyself, therefore, in the Lord. And he'll give you the what? Desires of your heart. Desires are powerful. Desires and promises are some of the two most powerful things God ever placed on this planet. The promises of God are far more powerful than the sins of people. It'll shut down sin. The desires that you have in your heart, my God, given to you by God, will move God. He said, well, I want to do that next week. I just want it. Okay. That's exactly what Jesus did. He moved up his time frame. So don't never, ever uh, criticize the desires that God placed in your heart. Now, it may not be the time, and he will tell you, the time is not yet, but if you push him, it's like a kid wanting a cookie. Mom, I want a cookie. Now, boy, you can't have no cookie. That's going to ruin your supper or ruin your dinner or your lunch. Mom, I want a cookie. Mom, I want a cookie. Ma. 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 Ladies, am I telling the truth? Ma. You say, give him the whole box. <laughs> that desire is so strong that it pushes you to give it to him and you know it's going to ruin his lunch. Isn't that amazing? You learn that from Mary, the mother of Jesus. Now, you know, she was a wonderful person, right? Wonder who her mother was. Who was her big mom? Who was the big mom? Who was the grandmother? But boy, she was taught right. How do I know that? She accepted the most unbelievable faith statement anybody could ever receive. She told an angel, let it be, even as thou hast said. She said, first she asked a very logical question, how can this be? You're going to have a child. Whoa, wait, I'm 15 years old here. How can this be since I know not a man? I haven't had sexual relations. I, I, I'm a pure girl. Oh, where did she learn that from? It's amazing what mothers do. Huh? Yeah. How does this be? How, wait, this can't be. How, no, this can't be. It will be. The Holy Spirit shall come up on there. Let it be even as thou hast said. Think about that. Transmitted power right there. See, it came from her mother to her too. You see, generational. Faith should always be generational. And usually, most of the time, it starts with mama or grandmother or something like that. And, you know, they have such power. On the holidays, everything has to do with grandmother and mama. You do what they say. Am I correct? Yeah. Go out there and do this. Where are we, we going to be eating? We're eating over here. Okay. Where we we'll do this? And even after they grow up, the sisters run the house. I used to go, and I'm going to close with this. I used to go, they're all in heaven today, my uncles and my aunts and all. Oh, my God, man. <laughs> and I tell you, I don't know how we ever fit in that house. I don't know how we fit in that house. I went and looked at that house one time. I couldn't believe how small that house was. My God, I don't, I don't ever remember sitting down with a plate. I had my plate like this. Everybody stood at me. It was just, but it was all at grandma's house by now. And it was a cooking and a talking. And all, I mean, 
And, and my mama had four sisters, including her, four girls, four boys on my mother's side. And the four girls ran everything. All the uncles talked about all the power they had. They had nothing. <laughs> in fact, I got my uncle Ralph in trouble. I can say it now. He's in heaven. But my aunt Tatsy, her name was Esther. We call her Tatsy. Man, he, 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 was, he, he was telling my uncle, my, my uncle Dennis and my uncle Norman, my uncle Ray, <laughs> and my dad and all that. He said, I'll tell you one thing, buddy. I got to watch what I say. If I talk too loud, man, I mean, if I tell Tatsy to jump, she said, ha, ha, ha. Boy, I went, yeah, yeah, yeah. So stupid me. I, I walked in there. Went, okay. I said, Aunt Tatsy, uh, Uncle Ralph said that if he tells you to jump, you say, ha, ha. <laughs> My Uncle Ralph never did like me from that day forward. <laughs> she walked in, Ralph. And he went, I'm sorry. The boy misunderstood. She said, you lying. <laughs> and she was way shorter than Uncle Ralph. It was amazing. All of them were generals. First star, second star, third star, fourth star. They just, they ran the house. They ran everything. We couldn't ask any of our uncles or my father anything. They'd say, go ask your mama. How many of y'all been there? See, that already that authority was being transmitted in all other things as well as faith. So remember your spiritual heritage when you look at your mama. Or if she's in heaven. Don't never forget that. I don't, on Mother's Day, if she's in heaven, you stand, look up and say, Happy Mother's Day. Because see, so great a cloud of witnesses. Can't be a witness unless you witness something. And the Bible says to be absent from the body is to be what? Well, dead people are not present before God. Live people are. So if you hadn't called your mother in a while, you that are watching all over the world, give her a call. And if you're watching, it's real late, call her anyway. She's waiting on your call, saying, that boy ain't called me yet. And how many times I'd do that? Man, I mean, I'd be half drunk, 2.30 in the morning. I'd be stuck somewhere in Mexico, Mexico. And I'd call, Mama, man, it'd be 3 o'clock when she picked that phone up, boop, on the half of the first ring. I was praying for you, boy. Whoa. I saw you in that place. Oh, Jesus. I just called to say hello. Bye, mom. No, don't say bye, boy. You all right? I said, I'm doing fine, mom. You know you're going to hell. I said, I knew that was coming. I said, I've been there, mom. She said, oh, no, you ain't never been to hell. You've had some hellish things to you, but you ain't never been in hell. And you never will be because I ain't letting you go to hell. She said, I'm going to pray for you. And I have to hold that phone like this. <laughs> Couldn't she pray a quiet prayer? I said, why you holler so much? She said, you're in Mexico. I want to make sure you can hear it. <laughs> <laughs> and one last thing. Kathy saved. She said, I don't have any power in my life. I said, you need the Holy Ghost. I was laughing. She said, the Holy what? I said, the Holy Ghost, it cost me 400 and something dollars to get Kathy full of the Holy Ghost. I had to fly her from St. Louis all the way to New Orleans. I said, you meet me in Chicago in two weeks. She said, all right. Boy, and she went with my mom and got filled with the Holy Ghost. Come back on. I mean, I'm waiting for her in Chicago at O'Hara. I'm sitting there. She come off that place. And you know, Kathy has always been kind of quiet. Now. Boy, she had, that, she had that strut with her. You in trouble now, Jack. <laughs> Don't you know that? I got the power. I went, whoa, you got the power. I got the power. Watch this. I went, whoa, baby, you got the power. <laughs> that woman right there. <laughs> I'll never forget that as long as I live. So Holy Spirit, you owe me 400 some dollars <laughs> to get this girl full of the Holy Ghost. Well, mama called. She said, that was worth the investment. Kathy was always very quiet, but not after she got saved, especially after the Holy Ghost. She would scream in church. Wow! Just scream. And she said, I heard somebody screaming, and I found out it was me. <laughs> she was always very shy. She would run around the church, dive into the, into the, in the altar, just dive. Wow! 
oh, just having people was all shook up. And I'm going, what is going on here? Fall out in the Holy Ghost. And I'm going, trying to get her attention. She kept her eyes closed. Come on, come on, just. And you know, every woman in there was doing the same thing. And all the men, <laughs> men like me who was not, what we love God, but we wasn't that close to God. We were like. And it all started out with the old women of the church. Well, they'd start, hmm, hmm, like they had itches or something, hmm, something going on, oh, yeah, oh, then all of a sudden they'd go to the, to the daughter, hmm, 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 then you had the little girls, oh, oh, <laughs> and the little boys going, <laughs> acting like their daddy. See, a real mother will always tell you the truth. I brought a girl home one time to my house. She's a little greasy. A little greasy. That's all I'm saying. But men know what I'm talking about. Look at women going. Huh? Mama walked in. I come and I said, Mama, she said, she's a Delilah. She's a Delilah. The lady, that girl said, who's Delilah? I said, that's a nice lady that lives down the street. <laughs> oh, Mama. She called one of my girlfriends Rahab. You know what that is, huh? Thank God this girl knew nothing about God. Rahab, what's Rahab? Oh, so that's a French name. <laughs> Just lying. Jesus, don't, don't read the Bible. But when Kathy walked into the house, I forgot my wallet. I had to go home and get my wallet. Terry, I forgot the wallet. So I said, you want to come in for a second? I got to go in my back room and get, and get my wallet. Yeah, she walks in. And I said, Mama, this is Kathy. Mama goes, that's going to be your wife. I went, whoa, Mama. whoa, whoa, whoa. That's it. The Lord done told me. You can do what you want. You're going to get away from them greasy little no hair bread and all the kind of <laughs> That's what she said. First time she laid eyes on Kathy. I'm telling you, mamas know some stuff. Do you agree, mamas? Stand to your feet, everyone. I just have to say it again. The heritage of faith is the constitution of Christianity. That's a powerful statement. Let me tell you something else. Mamas are powerful. Prayers are powerful. Let me ask you, are you praying for your family? Are you transmitting faith to others? Ooh, are you infecting them with the word of the Lord? You have a rich heritage that must be passed on. See, before you were born again, someone prayed for you. Maybe it wasn't your mama, but someone had a godly influence on you. Why? Because faith must always be generational. I'm telling you, ladies and gentlemen, it has to be. I mean, it's so wonderful because the only way you're going to please God is through faith. Let me tell you something. We have something called Total JDM here. And I'll tell you what, you, and if you access it, you can get this message in its entirety. And there's over 200 messages on Total GM, and it's absolutely free to you. Why? Because of our faithful partners who support this ministry. They bless us so much. So I said, my God, me and Kathy said, if they're blessing us, our partners are helping us, we're going to get the word of God out. So we give it to you for free. You need to go and watch it. And if you want to see exclusively, I mean, all, just go to TotalJDM.org. I'm telling you, it's, it's amazing. You're going to spend a long, long time there watching wonderful things from God. Spiritual heritage is just one of the many messages you can access there simply free. And that's Total JDM. You know, Kathy and I love praying for you. We really do. I want to share a prayer request that came to us. This is one from a person named Jeremy. He writes this, Brother Jesse, can you please pray for my mom and dad? Both of them are fighting disease and sickness. Please believe with me for total restoration and that God will give them both many more years to live. They're the only family I have. Don't tell them to fight the sickness and disease, Jeremy. Fight the good fight of faith. See, Jesus said by his stripes you were healed. So before your mom and daddy ever got sick, God already had a healing, see? So those sicknesses, these I, I call those things, uh, they, they test false positive. Because by his stripes you were healed. But I am sick. I'm not dealing with the am sick. I'm dealing with they were healed. Jeremy, if I can get you to look at the word healed, like you're looking at the am sick, we'll 
get them all healed because your word healed will destroy am sick. Did I say that too fast, Jeremy? Can I pray? Father, right now, minister to Jeremy's family. Satan, I get great pleasure in telling you, get under this man's feet. We bind you and use the power of attorney of the name of Jesus. And I thank you in advance, Lord. Call those things that be not as though they were. It is done. Ooh, Lord, I'm starting to preach here. I can't help myself even when I pray. Now stay right there. I want to show you a few things here that are happening at JDM. I'll be back in just a moment. I hope you're enjoying the program. You have a spiritual heritage. Join us for Kathy Duplantis' 20th Annual Women's Conference. I can do all things through Christ that strengthens me. We're so excited to have Kathy's first guest speaker return, Taffy Dollar. Jesus already set you free, hallelujah! Glorious 2020, October 2nd and 3rd at Jesse Duplantis Ministries International Headquarters. Registration and admission are free. of Jesus. See, Jesse and Plans Ministries has one driving passion, one thing we ask in Jesus' name to be empowered and equipped above and beyond to effectively share God's message of salvation with the entire world. We want everyone to have an opportunity to know the real Jesus, approachable, personable, compassionate, and full of joy. That's the truth that we put on full display and invite countless others to know for themselves. We know he'll do everything and more. Why? Because we believe it, leading us to do the impossible for his glory. God called me to go. He said, go ye and I go. And sent people to link up in faith with the vision. That's you sending me to do the work. We are running further and faster than ever, infused with supernatural energy, shining the light of the gospel, seizing every divine opportunity. We're advancing and cutting through barriers to reach people right where they are. Expectation gets great results. Ask God for something unbelievable, something impossible. And you know what God will do? He'll walk off that throne and go get that thing for you. For you. Ladies and gentlemen, this ministry has one goal, to share God's message of salvation. You know what that means? Soundness through Jesus with the world. We want to make Jesus accessible to you. I want you to be able to touch him. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Feel his presence. Ooh, Christ in you, the hope of glory. This is not about religion. This is about an experience, a relationship, and a fellowship. You know what? We couldn't do any of this without our faithful partners who support this ministry financially every month. Some partners give every day. Good Lord, can you believe that? Some give once a year, but we receive 100% of it goes in the world evangelism. I know I say it all the time, but I'm so proud of this statement. We've been totally debt free since 1982. Whatever you send, 100% of it goes in the world evangelism. We have no debt here and we will never, ever have it as long as I'm the head of this ministry. And I mean that sincerely. Why? Because I watch over your seed, partner. I don't want to pay interest to someone that doesn't know the Lord off of, off of what you do for this ministry. 
In other words, if you send $20 or $20 million, and we believe in God for a $20 million party, God said we're going to get one. I don't want to take any of that money and go pay some debt on it. I want to take that whole $20 million or $20 or whatever it might be and put it in the world evangelism. That's what we do here. Partners, thank you, and I mean that. Also, for your August partnership, you can get my message, and this is a good message. I got to say it. Increase is not an accident. It's an association. Good God, it's a good message. You'll discover what it means to be in association with Jesus. If you stay linked up with him, you'll be blessed in every area of your life. So go to jdm.org for all the ordering information. That's our website. Look around that thing. You'll enjoy it. Also, I encourage you to get our book, Living at the Living. <laughs> at the top. Praise the Lord. <laughs> I say, I want to pray in the Holy Ghost right now. Lord Jesus, it's so, it's so strong on me. You're living at the top. I've lived at the bottom a lot of times in my life, but I found out some the top is better. You can see clearly. I can see clearly. Now, you know that song. <laughs> anyway, I hope you can get this. So many people have been blessed by it. It will really help you to achieve your rightful place in this life. You can get it at jdm.org also. Get all kinds of stuff. Go around on that website. Look around. I think you will enjoy it. It's all designed with you in mind. Once again, partners, I can't thank you enough for all you do for this ministry, for praying for us daily, for financially supporting us. My Lord, 44 years of full time, 44 years of full, man, I full time preaching, but 44 years of preaching, 42 years of full time preaching. We've never had a financial deficit. I want to say those words correctly. Glory to God. That's because of you obeying God. Is God telling you to be a partner today? I hope you're listening. God's word is true. Till next week, Jesse the Planet saying, I love you. See ya. Bye-bye. Jesse Duplantis Ministries is reaching people and changing lives one soul at a time more than ever before online. JDM is continuing to provide new faith-based content meant to strengthen your relationship with God. You can find weekly messages from Jesse and Kathy on YouTube, Facebook, Instagram, and more. So like us on social media, subscribe to our YouTube channel, and stay connected to all the exciting things happening at Jesse Duplantis Ministries. Can you really have everything God has put on your heart? Can you ask anything in Jesus' name? Jesus says you can. Jesse's book, Your Everything Is His Anything, will revolutionize your life. Whether you have a vision, a dream, or something that your heart desires, your everything is as anything is going to inspire you to believe and achieve it all. It's time to expand your view of what prayer and faith can do in your life. Your everything is his anything. Order your copy today. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Jesse the Planets, my wonderful wife, Kathy. And next week, Kathy, you're going to join me on the show. Yeah, we're so excited. We hope you'll be able to tune in. It's going to be a great program called Living at the Top. Let me tell you something. Living at the Top is a lot better than being on the bottom. <laughs> you don't want to miss that. That's right. And that's next week. You'll be blessed. Me and Kathy will be here looking for you. Yes. And you're going to learn some great and marvelous things how to live at, at the, the top. top.